time for final thoughts. Another day, another condescending leftist telling you how to think, feel, and act. This time, it's Michelle Obama reminding the ladies that she knows what's best for us because apparently we're not smart enough or independent enough to form an original thought. Thanks, Michelle. So what tidbit of verbal diarrhea did she spew this time? Well, Mrs. Obama said, and I quote, any woman who voted against Hillary Clinton voted against their own voice. Really, Michelle? Or did we choose secure borders, personal responsibility, a strong military, tax reform, smaller government, Obamacare repeal, and economic growth? See, that's what I voted for. I didn't vote for an email deleting, influence selling, accountability lacking pantsuit of lies. You're dang right I voted against Hillary Clinton. And the fact Mrs. Obama thinks that makes me less of a woman tells you everything you need to know about the left. No, Michelle, as a woman, I did not want the first female president to be Hillary Clinton, and for good reason. I also didn't one other four years of your husband's failed legacy. Oh, and trust me, I didn't lose my voice. You're going to hear my voice loud and clear. How dare you diminish and degrade my vote? How dare you look down on Trump supporting women? You know, contrary to the less popular belief, you don't have to march in the streets with female genitalia on your head to have a voice. See, millions of women made a different march, a march into the voting booth to vote for our interests, our country, and Donald J. Trump. Those are my final thoughts, Michelle. I hope you heard my voice and you'll remember it next time you talk down to free-thinking, Trump-supporting, America-loving women. From New York City, God bless and take care.